hey guys, it's me hey. and um me. My <laughs> We're in the semi truck, but why are we in the semi truck, Michael? We moved in. Correct. <laughs> so that's Jeez, why though. I posted a little while ago that we're gonna be posting about moving update. I know it took a while. We've been quite busy moving the stuff into the truck. We pretty much have everything into the truck, minus like very few things, but those things are like last minute things and like we'll, we'll need them around winter time um so in a couple of days i'm going to be giving you guys a truck tour of what it looks like and how we have our stuff laid out and all stuff like that um but before i even get to the point of doing a tour of the truck um we're gonna explain to you why we moved into the truck um, where's the rest of our stuff? Where's our fish? Where's Enzo going? All questions like that. So, we moved the stuff that we would need for the time being into the truck. Um, why did we move into that truck? Okay, so, the reason why we moved into the truck is because the apartment was just a mommy pit. It was getting too expensive. We weren't really enjoying it anymore. It was good at first, though, but... Yeah, it, it definitely was good at first because it was, like, a new thing after we had to move out of my grandfather's house and sell the house. Um, but, yeah, it was definitely good at first, but after a while, like, once Michael became a truck driver, since relationship, the apartment was not as enjoyable because one i was missing michael a lot more because i felt as if i wasn't really in a relationship even though i was in a relationship so for me to be in the truck it feels like me and michael are actually in a relationship it sounds so weird to say that but yeah my mental health was absolute shit i tried my best to not swear on this channel I mean, there might be every once in a while where I will swear. Um, but yeah, my mental health was absolute torture for me. It was horrible. Um, but others, other than my mental health, we are getting rid of the apartment. Um, second question, what are we doing with all of our stuff? Um, well, before I even get to that point, we haven't even finished packing up the whole entire apartment yet. I would say half of the apartment is pretty much packed up. Mm. Our clo our bedroom closet is pretty much packed. Minus, like, a few things here and there. Um, bedroom needs to be packed up a little bit more. Um, kitchen, half packed. So, yeah, it, it depends on what it is in the apartment that is or is not packed. So, we need... we're we, What we're doing... I'm trying to get a, a shit ton of boxes all at once. And then what I'm hoping to do is when me, me, me and Michael are home for the weekend, I'm hoping to pack everything done, done in there. So when we... Well, one of the weekends. Yeah, one of the weekends. Because I don't... Because the thing is, me and Michael talked about like, oh, what if you were home for a week and pack everything up? Yeah, I could do that, but... Yet again, I'm afraid my mental health will be like shit. And I just don't want to get back into that situation again. Um, so, after we pack up everything. And everything is ready to go. We are obviously going to let our apartment know that we are cutting the lease. Which, unfortunately, we have to give them $3,000. I don't know where they think we're just going to be like, oh yeah, here you go. But unfortunately, we have to cut, come up with that, which me and Michael are just going to split it half and half, which is what me and Michael do anyways for the rent. So it's not much of an, a problem. I mean, it's a little bit more than rent, but it is what it is. And um, so with Enzo, we're going to be bringing her to my mom. My mom has some other cats. So, in, Enzo was actually my mom's in the beginning. I'm not going to even... That's like a whole 
another story story for another <laughs> month or two. Um, so yeah, um, Enzo's gonna be going over to my mom's. Um, we actually already brought the fish to Michael's mom, um, which the video would be coming out after this one. But the rest of our stuff were either selling, like the kitchen table I told you guys we got rid of, that's gone. So, we're right now we're focusing on selling the, um, one, the fireplace in the living room. We're focusing on selling the china cabinet in the laundry room. And we're focusing on selling the living room set. Mm. And a couple of little stuff in the apartment. about that too. Yeah, we need to really get rid of that thing. Get rolling. I mean, worst comes to worst. I mean, I have someone that's going to be buying the fireplace. But if I can't have someone, like, buy the um, china cabinet right away, we can put it in storage. Which is my next thing of what we're going to be doing. So, when everything is in its place, when everything's packed up, when everything is where it needs to be, or thrown out, anything like that, we're going to be getting a decent size storage. Why storage? That's where we're putting everything that we don't need in the truck. So, we'll have the clothes that we need for the time being. So, when the seasons change, um, I can go to storage and switch clothes. Um, we have some stuff here for, to cook with. Um, what else do we have here? I have my makeup here. Um, I have some of my craft stuff here. Obviously, my sewing stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys know that, but I, I do sew. Um, I used to work at Drew and Fabrics, um, it seems like a century ago. So, my sewing stuff will go in the, in the, um, bin, um, but another, like, what I'll probably do is have another video explaining what stuff is going to go in the bin. If you guys want to know, like, what stuff I'm going to have in the bin. But, yeah, that is what's going on. I've been on the truck. This is my first full week. But I was on the truck last week. And before I was on the truck last week, I was on the truck for a day. and Well, technically two days. It was kind of like a trial run thing. But, yeah, I've been on the truck for a while. I've been meaning to post a video and film a video for you guys to update you on what is going on. Where have we been? So, I've been finally able to do it. I finally had time to get around to film and post a video. Um, but other than us letting you know what our living situation is going on and what's happening and where all our stuff is going let me explain to you <laughs> where we have been so as you guys know we're from massachusetts berica so we're obviously moving out of berica um but the first time when i got into the truck which was our trial run we went to maine for me it wasn't like oh my god yay maine um uh, it was like okay maine cool awesome what i guess um, for me, it wasn't like, oh my god, how exciting, because I've already been to Maine. We've passed through New Hampshire to get fuel. wasn't exciting, because I've always been in New Hampshire. So, it's like, okay, bye. Um, New Hampshire wasn't, I mean, Massachusetts was not that exciting either, because we live in Massachusetts. Um, but we have been in New York. We're actually in New York right now. Um, had my sweatshirt on earlier but it was getting hot so I took that sucker off um we've been in New Jersey New, Jer New Jersey is interesting the city of New Jersey is a lot it's it's different it's not like Massachusetts for one um where else have we been we've been to Pennsylvania Pennsylvania is really cool I really like the country um but the weird thing about Pennsylvania, like, the air has a smell. It's really weird. <laughs> um, but that's it of the places that we have been so far. So, little update. 
Um, so right now we're in line to be, it's which is called Live Loaded or Live Loaded. You guys might not know truck language. Um, but we're in line right now to be Live Loaded to go to Gary, Indiana. Where I have not been. Michael has been there a couple of times. So he's like, okay. <laughs> but for me, I'm like, oh my god, new state, new place, let's go. So I'm actually excited. So... Can I, can you show me the map? So we're going to be going through multiple states to get to Indiana. We're here in New York. And we have to be like, go from here to all the way over here in Indiana. It's the top of Indiana, but it's like in the very far left. So it's going to take us quite a while to get there. It's about like... 10 hours so i'd say like 10 and a half so it's quite some distance to drive so as y'all know we're in new york right now just yeah, there you go. that's where we are in new york that little dot and so we have to travel from the rest of new york little portion of pennsylvania all through ohio and pretty much all through Indiana to get to Gary, Indiana. So, that is all of what Michael has to drive. Right now, right now it says 9 hours and 22 minutes, but that could change. It could go up, it could go down, who could knows. Could stay the same. Could stay the same, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I finally wanted to explain to you guys on an the update of what's been going on where we're going where have we been the moving situation enzo fish our stuff but yeah right now we are being live loaded and then after that we are going to be on our way to indiana so real quick before we head out um if you guys are wondering what do i do during the day while michael drives um so I either look out the window to see the beautiful view, like at the sound of the RV, like um, trees there, the leaves are changing color because it's fall. Um, pretty views like water, bridges I've never really seen, or like cows, horses, or sad things like dead animals on the side of the road which I really don't like or I like color or we, me and Michael like playing music and fun stuff like that good morning guys um we kind of woke up late this morning so once I found out we woke up late this morning like Michael get up we overslept like an hour and a half so we finally woke up Got stuff going. Went to the bathroom before we hit the road, got some fuel, and now we are on our way to Indiana. Last night we weren't really able to drive too, too much because of the amount of time we had. So if we were doing it to shut down in New York again, it's not that much of a big deal, but today we gotta get to the Indiana. So we're working our way there. But while we're at the fuel stop, I got some watermelon and some Skittles for on the road there because it's going to be a long day. <laughs> Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment any suggestions like subscribe. down below. Subscribe. subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified when we post a brand new video. Woo! We'll see y'all soon.